Hello and welcome to me, Tara Wow. Today I'm going to be uh, telling you about uh, the catfish and um, and what it represents as it being your, your totem animal, your power animal, or just if it has a message uh, it wants to bring to you for uh, I don't know some for some clarity or to help you with some situation. And uh, just first of all, though, before I get into telling you all those, I'd like to say if uh, if you keep hearing the word catfish, or um, perhaps you're at the grocery store and you, well, you're, you're just seeing catfish in the freezer parts, um, and it's catching your eye more so than the other fish, and uh, basically if you just like catfish, uh, you like watching them, you know, if just if you just have a if you're drawn to them as well that's also another message or a way that you know that that is your uh, power your totem uh, animal spirit animal um, also if you keep hearing the word catfish uh, on the radio in the news um, maybe you've had some friends go fishing and they're showing you some pictures of their catch you know of their catfish or, uh, you know, there's there's many different ways, but if you keep hearing it, um, you know, over a close period of time, like like a week or a couple weeks or every single day or a couple times a day, you just keep hearing the word catfish and seeing pictures of them and stories of them. That is one way that 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 uh, that spirit, that energy of the catfish, is coming through to you and wants to give you a message. So um, I'm going to. Uh, have a video that I've taken at one of the aquariums around here of some catfish and I'll show that as I'm telling you about um, about what the catfish represents and what it's trying to help you with and its energy. Alright, so catfish are bottom dwellers with whisker-like barbs around their mouths. The barbs serve as a purpose of sensing. Catfish have poor eyesight and rely almost entirely on taste and sensitive filaments that hang from their mouth. When the catfish appears, you may need to separate what benefits you and what truly doesn't. Now, there are two types of catfish. There's the armored one, and it is mostly found in South America, and they have a bony armor. The armor around around them means that you will be protected from harsh words of others or that you may have to protect your words you speak or write. Alright, and so number two, the second catfish um, is known as the naked catfish which can be found in the United States and with the appearance of no armor it often reflects a greater sensitivity um, to the words of others. Now. Um, catfish as the totems and messengers uh, reminds the need to be discerned, especially in your speech. Speak with what you feel in a controlled way and you will see results from that. Now also, as a power animal, you can call on the catfish when you feel like someone is hiding in the shadows. The catfish, when channeled, will give you clear sight. They can also help you with the energy in times that you have rough emotions, where they can stir through the, where they can stir through uh, rough waters. You know, they can swim through rough waters, so, you know, they can help you get through your rough emotions if you call on them and, you know, want to use their energy and also they can help start the healing process. Catfish uh, will teach you how to be more adaptable in your surroundings and your situations if you call if you call on their energy and you respect them. Now also you may want to look up the sphinx moth uh, and its larva and the catalop catalopa tree because they, they both have um, deep connections with the catfish. And uh, the more you learn about the, 
about the catfish, the easier it will be for you to connect to its energy and the lessons and uh, receive their help. And I'll put a link to the catalopa tree. I actually have a video on the catalopa tree. Um, I'll put a link to it uh, above and then I'll put a link also in the description um, down below. And that is what um, I have on the catfish for you. Uh, I thank you for listening and watching. You have a wonderful day and please like, share and subscribe and we'll see you again next time. Bye now.